before we start looking at uh, circle theorems, it's always important to identify the key parts of a circle. So we'll start by identifying these parts. Um, I'll start by this part here. This is the diameter of a circle. And we have the distance around the circle is called circumference. And this distance here is called the radius of the circle. And then we have a semicircle, which is half a circle. So semi-circle. We also have a portion of a circle, um, a portion of the circumference, which is called an arc. And a portion of the circle itself, we call it a sector. It's just a fraction of the uh, whole circle. Um, we have a chord. And a chord divides a circle into a minor segment, minor segment, and a major segment. Um, we also have a tangent. And that's, um, those are the key parts of a circle. Another definition that I want to look at is um, what the word subtended angle mean. Now, a subtended angle is an angle formed by an object at a given external point. For example, um, in the first example A here, we have a flag which forms an angle of 32 degrees to the obser observer's eye. So the flagpole subtends an angle of 32 degrees to the observer's eye. And again, here we have an arc. Okay. We have an arc which subtends um, an angle of 82 degrees to the center of the circle. Okay. Or at the center of the circle. So subtend means an, an angle that is made. Okay. By that object with the reference to a specific point. For example, in B, we have to the center of the circle. In A, we have uh, the observer's eye. 